Exosomes are secreted by every cell in our body, and they're very cell-specific to how they function. So if our exosomes come directly from stem cells, pure stem cells, and stem cells in our body repair and redamage, or repair and regenerate damaged tissue. So the best way to look at the and analyze an exosome is really four things. Number one, how much protein do they have? It's important to know their protein because without protein, a cell cannot change. Number two, where do they come from? You can get exosomes from amniotic fluid, but most of that is it's from epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is great for the outside of your body lining, but it doesn't do much to repair. Number three is what's their condition media? Most man, mass manufacturers, the condition media is what it's suspended in. Most mass manufacturers use what came with mom during the birth. Well, some moms are healthy, but not all moms that give birth are healthy. And then number four, and the least important of all, is the actual exosome count. The reason it's not so important is because it's the most misrepresented. People lie about it. So an exosome is defined as a lipid bilayer membrane. There's only one technology that can accurately count that. It's called luminescent nanoparticle tracking analysis. The luminescent part makes the bilayer lipid membrane glow so they can count it. What most people use is just nanoparticle tracking analysis. It counts all particles. So when I say our product has at least 22 billion exosomes, it's true bilayer lipid membrane. If you ask me how many particles it had, it would be trillions. It's up there. The only, the main reason it's important to understand that bilayer lipid membrane is because that is where the protein is. So your extracellular vesicles, all those other components, don't carry protein. Only the exosome carries protein. So that's the basis of it. They're also nanometers in size, thousand times smaller than a cell. So they're actually four to five thousand times smaller than a skin pore. So they readily absorb. So if you do a good, nice exfoliation and massage it, you'll get great penetration. But if then you're going to channel it or microneedle or, or any other technology, it drives them further into there. Studies in the lab have shown that when these exosomes are placed with dermal fibroblasts, within three to four days, we start to see an upward surge in the production of collagen and elastin. The dermis, essentially. So that's the whole point. They're small, they can absorb, and once they get there, they can do what we need them to do.